tough matchup against, so I think we're in for an exciting one. Nonetheless, Alfie yeah. already up on tap. He's going to be under pressure immediately, and actually doesn't get out of there. I thought he might have just scraped it. Now a few bullets pursued him through the wall. Three players, though, still here. Big stack out of Fnatic. They've made the right call this time. KC flood in. Martin and Magnum caught off guard, and now they're realizing there's a lot more guns here than they thought. Fnatic just about able to escape with Durka's life. Three so low, HP. Though. As he goes for the teleport, Chronicle's still sitting here. They have a choice on Casey. Who do they want to fight? And it looks like they're deciding on Durka. A brave choice for anyone to make. Two kills already under his belt. These guys are in CT spawn with Bob. His nade back, but no, I just don't think he used his nade in the first place. Didn't get a chance to with the all-out combat. They know there's a chance he'll be coming from bathroom or even from mid. Fight Safe plan for spawn, but they're they're trapped. They're oh sandwiched, my God, he but that gives him one v one fights. And now, right, doesn't often lose those. Ah. Uh, luckily, with both of them being low, it was. Just who could shoot the quickest. Chronicle, though, in these clutch situations, has been devastating. This map in particular has so much history, so many memories. But he needs to try and isolate one of these fights, having no idea where his opponent's going. Kendra's jiggles and she oh already my just God. getting information and <laughs> almost needs him to make a pretty catastrophic mistake. And in the meantime, the rate well on the wraparound. He KC stacked up four rifles brought into this round. It does mean the margin for error is slim. They lose more than one player, they'll start to feel the, the cost of the round. Oh, there's going to react B now. Got a little bit dicey with one of their Good job for this guy to stay alive. Opting to play things a little bit safer. I think Tomazzi Bro, they're behind you. just spotted a lot of them, but it doesn't even matter. He's going to get picked off immediately. Now the margin for error is zero. They can't afford to lose a single... Why sign less if they can't afford him? I don't know what the reason the is. I don't, I don't know what happened. The post plant will definitely help with that. Right here. Definitely look like they're trying to hold out in case anybody rotates from the defender spawn, but they're mostly coming in from Hooker. Having to drop out with these pistols. I suppose it's not ideal, but no fight really will be. Narrate's well, Fnatic made it kind of hard, but it out now it's time. over. The Dizzy helped him on the cross, and Fnatic, well, they realize they're going to dive out of here for orbs, or they're going to go down to the spike afterwards, and I think that's the call that's being made. Most of the time, financial just means bad attitude for the player. I, I don't... I, there's no way to spec... Like, we can't know. We literally just can't know. Away he goes. Down to the spike. All the Fnatic fall, and KC find their set. Paid off. The hope here that... You wouldn't see Casey nah. grouped up outside alone, that a ready for the fight. Huge but mistake. The attention was always to take it towards the B side. Boaster now isolated, having to burn up his flashes, has just one left to work with. And the aggression out of Alfier, having not spotted anybody, decides to go hunting. Barry has ult here. That Shin dropped Smoker down. Thrash. In round three, oh my god, nice Boaster. No success. Boaster able to pick up one. Oh, uh, they know he's Huka now. Drop as well. There's no way that they don't account for this player who got a kill just moments ago. The swing is good. Tamazi almost killed him too. Being needed and ends up finding his teammate Magnum too with a snake bite. <laughs> Looks like that could be a bit of a problem I don't know how... because a man standing. Where was Magnum? Two is Durka. Close fight first, and it's Tamazi with 60. Are they consistently going to do this? Long B default. Eh, you know. I guess it's working, so I might as well just keep friends. going. We gotta have someone to fight on range, I guess. Okay, low key, yeah. this trap is insane. Point? By Fnatic. <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, I mean, that's a great position for, for the Guardian. Yeah, close range. That's yeah, no, it's a, 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 just a perfect position for that that weapon to be. And in fact, if I was to choose anyone to have that weapon, it wouldn't be Boaster. No, it's they're not going up long though. Yeah, well, you're right. Uh, oh. No success found, but at least damage done. The assist on Wait, they're not even reacting A. They're just still going B. Well, the Guardian can be picked. They're up, assuming Fnatic's just going to rotate A, which they yeah. are. <gasps> They're actually gonna get oh the no! The out when call. Seen that many players stack up towards B long. The logical thing for Casey would go, okay, let's hightail it to the other side of the map. Instead, though, they've called the bluff. I, I, I respect this. They have gone, okay. What are the chances that every single player just stuck around, waited for us to get there? I respect that shit. Just go for that immediate rotate. They've realized now. A deep flash up on left. A revealed nobody. Boaster's flank. Reveals nobody. The realization sets upon them that, yeah, this plan has gone down on B. Spike Unlucky. Planted. And, and not the best weapons to have to retake I mean, with again. Some it's players too hard. trapped inside hookah stickers right. in hand. One day. Wait. A shot by Chronicle, but just the one to be found. 
unfortunately as well. All the weaponry has been dropped outside B long. Are they gonna be able wait. to get back in? Wait, 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 wait. He wait. called the timing on Martin, and that was left all onto Magnum. 1v3 needed. He's been crispy so far. Needs a little bit more. Needs to deny the diffuser. And now up to just Booster, and he finds all three. A rebel clutch from the IGL of KC. What? It got muted. It muted. The I mic cut out. Yeah. Oh, the no noise, noise gate. The noise gate, Tom. He probably said it really quietly. Mm. All of them are lovely people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pro probably. See again. Does this Omen Flash do anything? Well, are they going to use it? Oh, like they are. They are not oh, going to slow the pace of this round straight up and into the fray. In fact, why my oh, God, Martin? Oh, oh, oh. Blast packing into elbow. The Chronicle didn't see that one coming. And now you come into a round where Fnatic have rifles. They've invested. They've got an ult yeah. in their back see pocket. Ya. They've got a good chance. Chance to fight KC and stop them. And a few seconds later, oh, save. No. should we save? Let's save these weapons. Ah. It's it the same of the attack of the last map. Like, it looks like the Omen Flash does a lot wrong, there. When the confidence is behind them. I genuinely think that Martin I mean, might I be the guess most because they player. have that extra flash. Game. Like what he does within the server is disgusting. Like, you, you just get, you get free hookah no matter like what. 5v4. And you can take U-Haul. Like, those two lines are really strong for the Omen Flash. To talk before he'd already killed the second player. And that's Chronicle as well. He's bind and as far as Omen <laughs> Alt goes, <laughs> you could rush Five with and Gecko zero. and Alt at the KC. same time. Omen Alt at the There's same time. There's a lot time. of teams that, that you'd lose, uh, especially from 9-3 up. You lose from 9-3 up. And I'll go fuck right, myself. Why are you here? Uh, check up a few, a few of these... Do these statements that are on the background. Does it say they're going to end A, though. If Gecko's here, they're going to end A, right? Says, why are you here? Obviously, the conversation be you're here because you're the best and you deserve to be and all that. I'm oh, sorry, my know. God. Well, the Ray's ult is down. Rip, but there's a right second there. player aggressing up. It's Alpha here. Not looking to get too aggressive just yet. Said picking the weapon and bailing on out. Not our Ray's ult. Another opening pick successfully found. And a big difference between I think Ooh, it's a good push. Gecko as well. Like, this is a good push. They don't have anything holding flank a, either. A if they're time. able to Even stall enough time. Off, slow down. Fnatic the has to stall time. Here. Big kill. Time That's, That's good stall. That's good stall. It was Durka in this round. Alpha backed off and left him for dead. But now he's standing his ground. He's got a teammate with him. Leo up close. Ooh. Blinded, but not expected to be here. The element of surprise grabs one. And he's going for Oh, huge. That mosh pit forced him out. Much to narrate's chagrin, Tamazi, the last man standing, 1v3, and the spike not under his control. This is going to be a tough round to win, and we could be witnessing the first for Fnatic. Definitely has to spot it out, Chronicle, as he attempts to cross. No. Definitely in the favor of Fnatic. Oh, convincingly. Yeah, they've, they've got their orbs farmed up. Good reactive ones as oh, well. Fnatic's playing three short. Chronicle. It's pretty strong. Punish on Durka, and a thrash for Leo. Completely halt a push in its tracks. You can see KC are playing this one a little bit slowly outside of Bath. A oh lot God. of players oh God. take that control, but a small little shift. Oh up God. Booster can shit on them here. Doubling up. Turn right. Booster. Just turn Booster. into this corner. Just look right. Booster is if he turns around, I was about to say. It's just so much just a, a game of chicken. Leo again. He tries to do the save, and tomasi has got down to his own snake fight this time. It was a, a, a sacrifice he was willing to make, I guess. Spike Nonetheless, planted. it's come at a much higher cost. Oh my god. Fanatic. The same gambles failing. Boaster. Uh, he would have killed them both. That they could have walked past. And that is, again. He literally would have killed them if, both. If you've played against Nats ever, you should have the expectation that he could do that alone. You see that Viper screen up, you need to be more aware. Yeah, 100%. I mean, it's the whole reason it's put down. I mean, I don't know why Alpha and Chronicle are even going for that. Is it because they can buy next round? This time, I still don't think it's worth to go for that. There's no way you're going to win that round. Casey, right uh, in the back pocket, is gonna, to play when he spots someone, he's going to ult. It's not right? Just about early round aggression. It's about because they only have 2B, he has to. They could ult. These guys are going to push through showers, get the info. Boaster's going to leave to go help. And the whole idea was to move towards B long. So we got to spread okay. out. Okay, this is good. Boaster needs to leave. He needs to leave. He needs to leave. Go, 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 go. Over towards the showers. Here. Already put deep. The stream, should I go? As well. So they definitely have information. The only real should I go B? Fucking go B, well, bro. He's gonna try and slow that down as much as humanly possible. Magnum's gotta be careful. He's gone through on his own. Okay, Nobody we take that. We'll take that free kill. It's fine, because Durka yeah, has showers. This doesn't matter. And, uh, they've just lost a player for... Good ult by Chronicle. I mean, I... Yeah. 
you have to imagine the chaos once that mosh pit goes down. It's a split second decision. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was, but that decision the same way. Oh my God! Little disruption. Are they gonna TP or no? No, they're not. The well, this push is coming through. Chronicle hearing a lot of steps. The rotations should be called. Good nade. Fact, normally, they would have already fully rotated. Nah, they're cooked. But Alfie stuck they're around cooked. in this pit. Still on long. One on the side as well with Chronicle following them, pursuing them through the TP to drop them Save, away. save, now save, save. You can't. Leo and there hasn't been a lot of success when that's the plan. Okay, and they can't win the round. though is with a weaker weapon down below, picking them off. They dealt with Leo, but his buddy was still alive. And the reinforcement still has Gekko up. I do like this though. They're playing for something. They're playing for showers here. They normally play for short air. Still, that's the thing. Leo did all of that. He had thrashed the whole time. He just decided... This aggression just yeah, helps I mean, I so much with having three, to, to, to like overstacking the. Be able to follow up, but on, on it easily either. I think he made the right call this time. A lot of players from Fnatic towards the B site looked like Alpha was thinking about rotating back. They're sticking around for now. KC not going to commit themselves just yet. At least you would imagine, considering the fact there's still a double stack up on A. You'll have the Viper wall going up and these guys are just making noise for these guys. For Fnatic, so this is a BN for sure. They're going to give it some respect this time using some of their abilities to clear out these angles. I think Chronicle used the Tiger to clear it and ensure nobody was sneaking their way into that position. But eventually, the Good will be Leo's going to know it's not. Oh. On its way. Good catch. That's got one. Did it catch the player in the corner? It did. Huge oh my found, god. Know. Wait, they, they don't know. know that Tamazi's here. Him being seized almost helps him out in oh this no. sense. He's forced into a late flank play. The oh no, 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 no. KC dominating the site now. Just Wait, Leo. To uproot, but that's a big task for any man. Two kills already. Leo. Round, and just Leo. One man left down to the classic and he'll find it. A sensational play by Leo to keep control over B. That was awkward. Wait, that was pretty awkward. I can't imagine what he's saying, but I don't think we're going to hear that back. <laughs> I actually think that there might have been Martin completely running out of ammo in both guns. At the end, he just sits there and accepts his fate. And no the fight, fact is, no fight, no fight. There was moments in that round where it looked like it was going to completely fall apart. In fact, it did completely This kill fall here, apart. that kill on Magnum, Leo, huge. And again, I, I said it, he had a slower start to this map in comparison to the other. <laughs> Six to three. Again, the climb back. The rounds are Fnatic too close, though, is the problem. Again, they still Durka does have up, though. KC's KC mistake is this. this they are putting no pressure in they showers. These guys are allowed to stack 3B every time because of it. I don't know why they have 3A here. I guess he's dogging through TP at least. Nah, that's bad. This is bad. That's a first death for Leo. Can we mark that down? He actually had one in the last map as well, I believe. Or last time they played this too. Oh, Hello. fuck. He well, actually stuck it. Has not quite paid off. They didn't think that Durka was still around here. Did anyone from Fnatic? Oh, they're cooked now. now. They're miles ahead. The plans will oh, good ult though. There's no denying it. The Viper's pit extending out just in time to catch Chronicle. Magnum's reposition gets him way out of the way. Oh, I like this ult. From downtown. Both alts were really good there. Anything, but at least clearing this space for Magnum to I don't, I don't mind what Chronicle was doing there. He just wanted to tap bomb to make them run through. But the alt flooded out more than he thought it would. The uh, Viper ult. He essentially wanted to beat the Viper ult and tap bomb to make these guys start spamming so his teammates could kill him. I see why he did that. That's not that crazy. But... This setup... This setup by Fnatic to have two people B site, Durka has this line for like five to seven seconds. There shouldn't be two people A. For KC. Oh, Durka picked the wrong site. Durka's been A every time except this round. I won't insult yeah. KC and he has all. Oh no. I think for this defensive side, this is this is where I expect they need to show up. Three is all. It's just so stupid. It'll have to be beautiful opening. Pick Leo's grabbed one. Somehow with the mosh pit, he's still alive. Of course, still fighting. Dropped eventually, but the damage is done. He's made it competitive, doable, but difficult. It seems like Magnum goes from having the best round to the win. Fight me! I'm gonna jump. It's like you ready? Two face, a flip of a coin. I'm gonna smoke. 
And this retake's not going to be easy. You've got one weapon, only valuable at close range. And Jumping. The other, only valuable at oh my god, he's going to win the round. That's already oh started my god. Team, though, is back with a vengeance. Leaving Durka with everything still to do. He had Another a save. Utility, but, uh, yeah. Oh my god, chat. This is the first round Durka decided to play B, and that's the only round these guys went A. That is Hinged fucked is for him. Team. That is actually look at, look at fucked the for him. Making here. Your teammate just got judged up close. You're 50 HP. And he just goes, oh, I'm going to swing it now. He won't expect me. It's absolute lunacy, but it I works out. I think he might just tape over his health. <laughs> it's like, I don't care. A, it's, it's like a pure mentality thing. It's like whether it says, see, yo, he's lights like, yo, out. Yo, yo. Is operator in hand. This is an ambitious play and he needs his teammate. Nice shot. Okay. Maybe he doesn't need his teammate. He doesn't need anyone. Oh my, god. oh my god. Oh my god. This guy's screwed. Martin. Yes, the doggy. Doggy. And now Magnum's trapped in the corner. Yeah, the problem is nope. the rest of the team have gone in the other direction. Flash dog something. Use they something. Managed to get those opening kills, and especially with some of the weaker weaponry. I'd say it might allow for an upgrade. Unfortunately, the man who needs an upgrade the most is Bolster. And the other players are now so far away. Leo does. I don't even know how these guys took B so fast, but. Available, but they've got so many angles still to clear. They're going to be able to at least reduce. Oh my Some god, the places they need to spot. The fight is oh, gonna work out again for Durkin. Fuck. This is looking like his round. Oh, it's all down to timing the rate. Wait. He didn't get spotted. Wait. I, I don't think they realized he was here, otherwise they would have sent Thrash back in the other direction. He's done up close. Good for one, but the judge is there. The upgrade wasn't needed, and they caught Shin far, far away. He stands almost no chance. The teleport through is expected well ready was Leo. Well played. I have to run out. I have to run out because it's gonna run in six minutes, and I feel like this game's gonna be close oh, yeah, here. Up against most teams, at least. Paranoia here for Shin. A lot of players towards Bath. Alpha Wait. snake fight is good. No escape Wait. from Martin. The opening pick goes their way, but the final. Yeah, he got his one. He got his one. It's fine. Traded out. At least. Allows Alpha almost a raid boss scenario as a ghost and shield. Wait. Them, no, Stream, I have him. Okay. It looked like Boaster was sending a fake out. <laughs> Just running straight towards his opponent, but he'll win the fight anyway. And puts it into I've a got two him. versus four scenario. This pistol almost looking guaranteed. I think it definitely oh is now. Oh my Tomasi goodness. Left 1v4. These two kills by Boaster. Max impact, by the way. From the remaining players. This comes third. And, well, Never mind. A will be hit. Five short day. Oh, four short day. Attack sides looked good for them. Pretty much no oh, I like the one way though. Against Navi. Well, yeah. Ten rounds versus Koi. That was when they made that comeback. And Koi have been, uh, to be honest, about a pretty decent bind team. That's been one of the maps that I think they've actually been quite enjoyable to watch. It was a 15 30. Wait, Chronicle's getting flanked. To KC on this very map. Plant denied. Magnum. We'll be able to pick up the kill this time. Classic clearly better, and you can see that the main goal here for KC is just to counter with as uh, much as possible. Well, the TP is However, good. For Fnatic, they're Gorgeous. just decide to back out of there. Unfortunately, they can't really chase at pace without giving the game away. All right. Well, this is a Fnatic round for sure. Molly. Another position where these retakes are just a little bit too difficult when you're coming out of. Why do teams play Brimstone on this map? Down. Uh, yeah, a lot of control, the Molly. Fight, spawn, the Molly and the Stim are really strong. For post plants, for retakes, for exits. Whereas the Omen Flash, there's no good lines. So teams prefer Brim. Three players about to drop out. I don't know that one's going to work. Magnum may be worth dying for the orb. He's getting close to ulti. There's still quite a bit away, but his ulti's valuable. Same thing for Martin. Just Definitely a died at Bob. But... I could see them going down to the spike, making that call. Magnum is going to go for it. He's jumping out. I guess we're not dying. No success. The other two just default to spike. Is after it because he wanted his orb? Six secured for Fnatic. A two-round gap. On the side of KC, they don't have to panic just yet, but... On the climb back again, KC... Oh, it's just going to full exit. In their tracks. And more important, full exit. Yeah, he's going to dog shower at the same time. To blast back into someone's face. Yeah, oh, you know it. I assume. Predicted from the get -go. Yeah, he's dogging Char. With a judge in hand. Even more reason for it. Dodging the initial utility. Dizzy. Paranoia thrown out by the side of KC. And now Dirk is thrown out by the side of FNC. Good job, not Rev just running in. Towards lamps. Boombot covering on the up close fight. Judge is dangerous. And now they can't really retake that control. Not with this man lurking around. The side oh. itself is being Chronicle, seized. well played. Shot out of Chronicle is absolutely clean. 
Magnum didn't stand a chance. And that because they killed Sky, the Viper has to stay B because of the TP. Oh my god, they played this perfect. Oh my god, they played this round perfectly. That was genius from Fnatic. They didn't plant, so they just sent it to make it seem like he was planning? Or they sent it through the smoke? Fnatic on that attack, it's even better, so actually. Ever vigilant, ever deadly. Someone wow. on PC needs to put a spanner in the works. Yeah, but Either mean, way, it was a good fight. Buy three stingers and pistols. Off. It's a tough one to find any value with. Maybe Leo's giving them an opportunity. Playing up close. The spam battles leave Narrate very right low, there. down to 50 HP. Flash through, but Narrate still standing. He got his good one. Good to at least drop one. Problem is, you can't expect that from every engagement here. Those weaker weapons, not gonna have an easy time unless they can catch them off. Nah, losing shower and short, you just lose the round. PC. Unless you're five v five retake and your retake is gorgeous. The problem is, Tamazi is alone. It's not a spot they're likely to push. But as soon as he tries to retake some some ground, some information, Dirk is gonna be there to challenge him. Good connection to start with. Alpha low, but there's Dirk dropping Tamazi. Now everybody's coming from the back, which is spotted. Alpha Boaster switches to the knife at the worst possible moment still not looking oh. doable though alpha's low but they've got the time on their side yeah, the one thing is the I'm behind they got retrieved for mark more dangerous but Durka puts him in the dirt before any more pc might have to time out caused. if they lose they one more gun run around that for a moment look dangerous and for shin the only plan is to just try and get the gun and escape nothing more really be hoped for in fact he may end up just going down to this spike after all got the gun but just casey is having the it. exact same problem fanatic had they don't fight for shower and then when they fight for short they give it up because they lose the fight due to extra util Put fanatic is throwing and although they may be one to give an early and so they away, lose both they're not one to let a late lead slip one round to take the lead KC put all their credits on the line. No ulties to work with on the defensive to watch Look for some good, to Presumably play after this deep flash from Magnum comes through. See, the reason I don't like this default is because of this gap here. If somebody walks Set down and has this info, Boaster can never know about it. The and they, they're they just stuck at A. As anyone else, but no flash it doesn't seem like they plan to... Yeah, they're going back to B. Direction. Now, the, the problem here is that... Magnum is desperately alone. There is oh, nobody clearing even it, remotely fine. close to Flash. I don't think it actually Ooh, went no. deep enough to catch anyone. Oh, and so no. This is actually what a call this is. Wrong read. The rest of the team are not going to move because Magnum is yet to find that information. Obviously, with no recharging flashes, he's going to have to oh, yeah. basically just play. You are cooked, brother. Good, good job getting, getting out, though. Completely given up, just hoping for a miracle. Oh, shot. no. An alpha. Well, he's not quite going to catch them. He doesn't know Tabazi is there. That's a little unlucky. Uh, I mean, he shouldn't. Ex he can't expect a fourth guy in just been saved by Tamazi. The nade that narrates not afraid to push through might give him an angle, but players have already pushed in towards the elbow. Wingman's on site with a free plant. And four-man elbow push after? There's no way you expect this. Aggression out oh, of Durkin. Oh, yikers. on his way around. Magnum clearing the site. Wondering oh, where my God. What the hell was that? Durka! Oh, it looked like he was speed running it! Uh, playing a neon, but somehow hitting the headshot. Narrate 1v2. Has a buddy to defuse for him, just needs to defend it long enough, but the shots don't land. Fnatic have come out on top again. And nine rounds now secured for the attacking side. The moment oh, you hit that, but but I'll tell you what, you did hit it. Fnatic, I don't know rounds, what made KC gamble there. Week by from the side of KC. I guess their plan was to TP the whole time, but we saw it even on Breeze, much more open map. I don't like it. But that map, I think, played out a bit more chaotically than what we're seeing here. It was one-sided halves, dominant early <coughs> fights that defined the round that sent players to go and save seconds in. This time, it's been much more push and pull, much more of the mind games in play. And the battles, they've always delivered. Even if KC go down on this defensive side, they're taking a few with them. This time might be different. Showstopper to entry. Players to be spotted. Nice position. Oh, Durka predicts it perfectly, eliminating Tamazi, opening the A site completely with the kills that followed. Or that it followed. Spike planted. Now Magnum and Shin. Sky flashed outside of Hookah and, and got no one. Okay, I don't start. think Sky flashed outside Hookah. I think Sky, that round, flashed so like here. Immediately fall back into it didn't go positions. out hookah i'm pretty sure seekers is available for magnum but i don't know if he's going to want to give away 
the entire game for himself. Already. Darker, they're gonna try and just isolate him. No, it seems like Magnum's gonna take that one versus one. The timing could have been worse, but Darker still wins the fight. Oh no, it's Shin, over. They're cooked. No chance. Nade placed onto the spike. Make sure that no one can get anywhere near it. Molotov there as well. There isn't even the time to get even close. I've had time to talk to Elmer and Mini as well, so. It's definitely value there, and it looks like they're gonna try it's and a good fake. an early ruse with It's a good fake. Sitting. They're about to leave. Quite a bit of utility towards that B side. You could look at the defense. Oh my. They, they almost fully rotated off just that little bit of utility. Straight off a pause as well. Nah, they're cut. That decision oh, is going to haunt them. Fnatic have taken the space. But it looks like they've gotten here just in time. They'll be behind the smokes. But with a showstopper to play with, that push is slowed down, staggered slightly. Steps Good ult, nice Martin. Connection. Good ult. That's Alfier down and now. Viper Utility no longer to play with. Durka out of the Ooh. round. And a crazy Five adjustment from eight. the right. KC looked like they'd made the wrong read, the wrong play, but they got right back in it on time. Great course correction. Chronicles Lurk has missed Tamazi. I'm going to be honest. Thread the needle right up behind. If they... I don't think Fnatic knew how good that fake was. If they'd just gone up short off that fucking fake, he, he, he uh, right as Sky ulted, time. if they just hit short, they would have won the round. They would have just planted the bomb here, and they would have won the round. Well, this will be a 1v5 for the ages. You've not seen many. There's one man in the server who's done it on this map, and he currently has 6 HP. But 20 seconds left. The thing is, the... Economy of Fnatic is booming to a point where I have no idea. TP might have no clue. Possible. Magnum will go down for free. Ten seconds left. How do you know the? How do you know how effective the nice fake was? Like, like, are you saying if I'm the player Chronicle or me watching? Because I just see it when I'm watching. I see no on radar it's working. On this one. Casey, they are gonna break and it's the defensive side as well. So quite a bit to play around. To like actually hit the A bomb site. Fnatic taking a slow approach. Watching for aggression on A. They gave too much Just time to the defense. The same on B. This is somewhere that individuals will be leaned on Towards to find their kills if KC do overextend. We can see that that aggression has come down on mid, but it's Martin tucked in a close <laughs> corner. And to be honest, every time I've seen Martin in a position like that, he gets at least two. Oh, the play doesn't seem to be in Double TP? Now. Again, though, for KC, they it's might be a little destroyed. bit hesitant. Oh, they're not TPing. With how the last rounds have been played. They're faking B control and they take showers off of it and then they go back short it. I mean, it's not bad. Viper's pit has been used immediately by Casey. This time, not willing, and that might have seen them. The tiger going through the TV it has. It definitely has. That's the information that will hold players within the site. That's obvious. You can even start to see a rotation out from Magnum to try and get him to help. Good ult, though. A brave play to try spam through with the Vandal. Martin won't catch him. Flash close. Shin in a little bit of trouble. Paranoia used. Shrouded step for out. Yeah, he's clean, but he's straight into the fire. Manages to make it out. Standing on the other side of this orbital strike, but Wait. he's caught immediately. Alfier dropped inside oh, the no. pit. For Martin. Good TP, good TP, good TP. What a call. Up until he goes to the back side and sees Chronicle. Thought he was going to get caught off guard. The spike's gone to B. It should be the plan to caught off guard or not. Martin will drop. Plan to come through. No denial of it just yet. And in a 2v2, this post plan position for Magnum could be everything. I don't think they'll expect him to already be here. The steps are heard from Tamazi mm. making his way. Ooh, hookah. All on Magnum now. Ah, uh, Leo has him. Oh, he was watching Josh it the ready. whole time. Even got a little spoiler with the barrel coming around. Just Tamazi left. Defuse to be had. Orb to work with, though. Best play might just be to try stick it inside. And that's not what he's going for. Instead, trying to bait them out. They're going to have to swing this to spam. It looks like they don't believe he's sticking it. One kill for Tamazi. Still so much time to run down. Boasters played this nice. perfectly. Well handled. They didn't even know he was there. An ult that's mirrored on the other side. And Fnatic have used quite a bit over the last few rounds, but the fact is so of KC. And the finances are... I hear Navi too, but I think they're saying Most something else. Far off max. Doesn't look like Martin will take a fine, but he is shoulder peeking it. Oh, a little wider than that. We'd seen that result before the snake bite even took him down in one of the rounds. 
nade up and over. It doesn't slow Good use, though, I mean. Poster actually runs straight through the nade, trying to pursue Shin oh. on the back of the thrash, but a player close not expected. Narek does well to pull it back into their favor, and he does it again. There's no stopping this man. 85 HP in the thrash online. He's it's going through. First flanker. This is huge. Players. He heard them stepping away, and they run right into the waiting That was perfection from Narek. One versus three. Literally this perfect. He spotted now as well. They know exactly where he is. The flash good, but he drops it out of the sky. Repositions. No. And an idea of the last player flash is perfect. And he's won it. Oh, expert positioning. Fuck. Expert precision. And a 12th round for Fnatic on the back. Oh, that is play. a dagger. It's over. I said it. It's over. This I want to see his reaction to that. Man. This man is a legend of this map. And put him in that spot. Put three players in front of him. And Chronicle knocks them all down. Narei did what he could. Oh, he tried. A real fight. Magnum as well. With a double up after they were forced into his position. Damn, this bro. Double, and then just winning that final firefight for the Red Bull. We don't get a reaction? 12 and 9. The superstars of Fnatic. Now just one round away from making it back to where they belong on that master stage. Three chances. He played that fucking three wow. chances to go to Shanghai. I feel bad for Narrate there. He legit could not have played that round better. Gonna let this one slip without a serious fight. My God, Narrate tried last round. Saw you, Mosh. But it wasn't enough. Mosh pit up and over, denying the exit. Tiger to lock Narrate in. There's no follow up on it just yet. That's Whoops. unlucky. Martin didn't want to go jumping again. And he still managed to get the boom bot up and over. Still, the information is the same. Push up by Magnum is oh gone, my and he's God. caught Boaster. That's their way back. Their access to the B site now denied. They might just have to tunnel vision forward straight into the waiting arms of Martin yet again. He's wait, not finding wait, the first. wait, 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 it's over. Expansion. Three quick kills. And it's over. Are on the cusp of victory. Magnum's only got 20 HP, and they know he's coming behind. The Seekers lock in that info. to Shanghai. Alpha even Spike stepping planted. past his wall, the little gap just enough to reposition. And with Tamazi in spawn, this one looks done. Magnum's gonna go down. There's nothing more. GG! Good job, good job, good job.